Now, boys, I'd like to welcome you all to the second Transmog competition of 2020 for the Alliance. Guys, we've seen this before, and now we're here to see it again. Today, I want to see some good fucking sets. I don't want to see some bullshit. I don't want to see some half-ass, thrown-together, bullshit-ass transmog that you've never even, you know, looked in the mirror with. I want to see some good-ass fucking sets. In every sense of that phrase. So, gentlemen, let us begin. Uh, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Pretty good-looking set. Good set, yeah. I, I mean, you know what, guys? I I think that it could be, it, it could be a winner. Laid on storms in from the guild critical physics using the helm of Li Shin, the shoulders, the gloves, and the boots right there from the heroic Throne of Thunder Paladin set, as well as the belt and the chest piece and the legs from the mythical Deer set. This is actually pretty good. I understand that some people might disagree with this. But the reason why I think that it's pretty good is because it's the first time I've seen somebody use this helm in a transmog competition and not look like a complete idiot. I understand that you guys think that it's bad. And so let me put this into a higher... What weapon is that? Uh, Vicious Gladiator's Axe. Um, so, uh, with Mongoose on it. So here's basically what I think about this. I like it because he's using the helmet. It's not anything that is beyond the helmet. It's just the fact that he tried to use the helmet and... It does look kind of like a Titan Keeper. Now, I understand what you tried to do with having the differences and the juxtaposition of, like, the dark, like, kind of Titan armor with, like, the more, like, Lee Shin-themed armor with the shoulders and the gloves and the boots there. I like what you did a lot. I don't think this is a winner. I don't think the weapon matches that well because doesn't it doesn't have a skull on it or something. Yeah, it has a skull on it. doesn't really make sense with a, uh, with some sort of, like, a Titan Watcher or Titan Keeper uh, weapon. I don't really like it a lot. But for a helmet, for a set with that helmet, the Lee Shin helmet, I think that it's okay. I've tried to come up with a lot of sets for that helmet, and every single set that I've tried to use has been shitty. I still haven't seen a good one. Atreus, Bane of the Fallen King. A Jailer of the Damned. All right, let's see here. Ah... Uh... He looks like a, uh, he looks like a simp for the Arbiter. Yeah, he looks like a simp for the Arbiter. I, I don't know, guys. Like, I, I don't think this is really going to work. Like, you look at this shit right there, and it does look okay. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, even though you're a simp for the Arbiter, simping is not always bad. I mean, she's really powerful, and maybe, uh, you know, you'll get something out of it. Uh, the weapon, I think, is a little bit off, off theme. But for the most part, I think that's okay. This is a decent looking set. And overall, I think the theme is uh, reinforced throughout the entire thing. Look at my sword. Yeah, you have the sword. Wow, it's a heroic sword. And my pet. You want me to look at your pet too? Moneymaker. Wait, why is his name Moneymaker? What, why is his name Moneymaker? Yo, quit playing around. Cuchello, quit playing around, man. You, you're one of the people I just randomly invited at the last second, bro. You're from Ragnaros. I remember you. Uh, costs a lot on the auction house. Snowball run. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Uh, this is actually an improvement, though. I'll be honest. Certainly an improvement. Okay. Please turn off UI. I've got it now. Uh, I just want to make sure that I, I was able to do that. If you guys have corruption gear on, please try to transmog something else instead of it so I don't have to inspect you through the other thing. Okay, man? Uh, that's really great. Okay. She looks like she's, uh, you know... Actually, you know what? Never mind. All right. Loganator Jenklins. All right. So let's see what we got here. We got Shadowborn right there. The uh, gloves right there. And then also, yeah, just the gloves right there from uh, uh, Old War 25 Man for Death Knights. That chest piece is from... Uh, chest piece is from 25 Man Naxxramas Paladin Offset chest piece uh, in, uh, obviously, Wrath of the Lich King Tier 7. Those shoulders there are the uh, Primal Combatant shoulders that came from the blue set of Moroids Draenor. And uh, the helmet there is the, that is a blue version, which means that it's, I believe, yes, it's a paladin set, which means it's the cool gladiators version because it's blue for the Throne of Thunder, sorry, Tomb of Sargeras 
uh, Paladin set. The Tabard of the Lightbringer, which is, of course, from Shadowmorn. That belt right there, which is the random quest belt. The leggings there are the uh, Dread Aspirants leggings that were used to come from the first tier of... Uh, of... I was thinking too fast, man. I, I had to recalibrate. First tier battle for Azeroth. And then the boots right there are from, I believe, specifically General Zanaz. And uh, those boots coloration, they're bluish, which means that they're the normal mode version. And they drop from normal mode Dragon Soul. And then I think that you can also get them as a BOE. But also, normal mode Dragon Soul offset uh, DK boots. I think this looks pretty good. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I got weekly dungeon, uh, weekly event. Oh, you got lucky then. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I, it's not amazing, but as I've said before, I like anybody who likes to use those shoulders. And uh, I haven't seen a lot of transmogs that actually use them correctly. And I think that for this for this set, it's one of the best uses of the shoulders that we've seen in a long time. I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect. But it's a pretty decent looking uh, combination of the items, okay? And I think because of that, it should be impressive. I like it a lot. It is simple, but good. So yes, yeah, Sloganator... Good fucking job. I really like your set, uh, even though it's not necessarily perfect. Let's go ahead and we're going to move on. The Honorable Manos de Fuego. Corruption is part of the Mog. Yeah, I can see that. This is fucking awesome. Dude, this is actually fucking awesome, bro. Like, dude, he's the Butcher. This is a straight up fucking Butcher transmog. Holy fuck, this is awesome. He's using that weapon right there. That comes from Nylotha, I believe. The shoulders and the helmet there come from, uh, that's, I think, a rogue. Wait, no. That is the Demon Hunter mythic version of your armor for uh, Emerald Nightmare. And then also the boots and the legs are from the, uh, pretty much just like, I think that's like a class order hall or something like that. I'm not, is it rogue? Oh, it's rogue, not Demon Hunter. Of course it is. Yeah, I got that wrong. Yeah, it, it's rogue or Demon Hunter. I forgot which one it was. Uh, it is the rogue one. I was wrong about that. You guys were right. And uh, chest piece right there, I think, comes from somewhere on wide. I don't really particularly know. Uh, I really, really like this a lot. I feel like certain Colt Heron transmogs are only, they only work because they're Colt Heron transmogs. Like, he's just this big, beefy motherfucker. And Asmon, wait, what do you want? Can I dance for you? Go for it. Let's go. This is the uh, it's the way she goes. Uh, I, I don't know really what else to say besides that. Uh, it's the way she goes. Okay, man. Uh, this looks really, really great. I'm super proud of you, and you did amazing. Okay, go ahead and close that up. All right, yeah, this is really, really nice. Uh, I like this set a lot. This is a really, really nice looking set. It fits together really well, and I like... This is the first time, I want to say this too, this is the first time that we've had somebody come in here with a transmog set that the corruption is actually supposed to make look cooler. Because usually the corruptions make it worse. But this time... This time, I think actually this one worked really well. And uh, I like it a lot. And I think the way that you had everything fit together uh, looks great. So thank you very much for coming. This looked really, really good. What the fuck is this? Ha 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 From the Guild Fiction. Okay, so that chest piece right there is the, I believe that's the rogue chest piece from Mythic Hellfire Citadel with the helmet obviously from the rogue set in uh, ICC. And then those weapons there are, of course, the Monk. I think those are the uh, challenge mode weapons. I don't really even remember, honestly. Or challenge artifact weapons. I have no fucking idea. Slim Hulk? Yeah, what is... Yeah, he's like the anorexic Hulk. You know what he looks like? You know whenever you had, like, a fucking... You know those giant Hulk hands that you used to get whenever you were a kid? And then, like, you had, like, some super, super skinny kid that was using him, and he just looked like a fucking idiot wearing him? 
This is exactly what that is. This is exactly what that fucking is, man. And yeah, he looks like a scuffed Hulk. Yeah, it's basically me. Yeah, I, I, how do you guys think that I knew about that? No, it, it, there it is. Listen, man, this could be a thousand times better. Now, the theme, in my opinion, is at least kind of interesting, right? This is, it's kind of interesting. So I would say that it could be a lot worse, could be a little bit better. It's not awful, but in my opinion, I don't think that it's that good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Any opinions, any thoughts, any uh, any comments, guys? Looks like a villain from One Punch Man. Well, yeah, he would be a villain because he's got two punches. Makes sense. What the fuck is this? Skate John Fame Counter of Desire War. What the fuck is this supposed to be? Greetings. What's up? Bone Reaver Zed. A nice mog to go with my classic weapon on my warrior. <laughs> Imagine still having that stupid ass popsicle stick whenever the, uh, you know, whenever uh, Ash Condi's in the game, man. Wait, what, what's your Tibard? This is a Light Forge. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did you transmog? Wait, so you were a Light Forge Draenei, and then you race changed over to human, but because you had the tabard equipped, it's never taken it off of you. I race changed whenever I was leveling to 120. Well, there's one thing here is we'll probably never see this again. So you know what? I'm actually not going to completely hate on this. Uh, this does look pretty damn good, and uh, it fits pretty well, too. And uh, yeah, it looks all right. Good enough. Big brain? Yeah, exactly. All right, next. Hank? Do I even have to say your fucking name? Hank Sinatra. Is that really supposed to be clever? Honestly? Your cleverness with coming up with names is as equal as your cleverness with coming up with trans monks. They're both lacking and mediocre. My old name got banned. What was your old name? As long as, as except if it's not T, if it's TOS, don't tell me. But if it's not TOS, tell me what your old name was. Shank Sinatra. Because I'm on an RP realm and it's not classed as an RP name. Well, Hank Sinatra sounds way better. Listen, man, uh, this set, this is like, I think that's the uh, Zulzazar or whatever fucking chest piece there. Those shoulders, I forgot where those exactly come from. Uh, the legs, boots, and gloves, I think those are like a five-man set in BC, but I don't even fucking know. Skullforge Reaver is the weapons, and that belt comes from Warlords of Draenor. I am not a big fan of this set. I actually think this set is the worst one that we've seen all day. This is the worst set. Okay, can we... Let's get a 1 out of 10. I want to hear it in chat. What do you guys think about this set? Give me a 1 out of 10. Maybe. You're going to hit it too. But in my opinion, I think this is barely a 1. This is terrible. Better luck next time. Shit, Sinatra. Rube the Cube. So, Rube, you obviously have on, you know, we've got on these amazing, badass, really cool looking items. But then you've got this dog shit ass belt, dude. Look at the fucking belt. Like, this is the worst belt that you could possibly ever pick out. This thing comes from vanilla fucking wow. And then you've got all these pieces that come from Legion. That's Dawnbreaker, which is the sword that drops some BOD in the first boss. So shoulders there are the mythic, uh, yeah, the mythic Tomb of Sargeras Paladin shoulders. And the helmet there is the normal mode, I believe, Paladin helmet from Tomb of Sargeras. The chest piece there is the LFR version, sorry, excuse me, normal mode version of the warrior tier chest from Nighthold. The leggings, the boots, and also the gloves all come from the Paladin set from Emerald Nightmare and then also Nighthold as well. And then the belt comes from somewhere in fucking Red Ridge. You really gonna do that? 
You're going to come in here with the Red Ridge Belt. You've defeated the Burning Legion, but you're still trying to hold on to the past glory from killing till 10 gnolls. Is that right? Get with the times. Get with the fucking times. Yeah? All right. Well, listen up, man. It's too late for them. 12 gnolls. Yeah, dude. Suggest them a belt. Literally any other belt. Oh, wow. I like this a lot. Big vape. Holy shit. I really like this. This is really nice. Okay, so we've got going on here. So that belt right there is the, uh, based off of the coloration, is the elite version of the previous tier uh, of the gear, the fucking, the Notorious Gladiator's belt. That is the Notorious Gladiator's belt right there. The elite version. That chest piece there is the, uh, because it's gray, I think that's the LFR version. Might be the other version. Doesn't really matter. Uh, that's one of the versions of the Oldowar chest pieces for uh, warriors. And uh, actually, never mind. All plate wearers. Forgot. And then that shield there is from Old War 25 man, I believe. That weapon is, of course, the, uh, I don't know which version it is, but it's one of the Iron Horde sabers that comes from Black Hand with obviously the enchant that you get from pre ordering, as well as the shoulders that you get from the pre order set as well. And then, uh, the gloves, the legs, and also the boots there are from the Hellfire Citadel Paladin set. So. Mm, this is a pay to win set. It is a pay to win set. We can't forget about that. No tabard or sword. And the, yeah, it's the Tabard of Lightbringers here. I think that it looks good. I do. Now, I do agree with you that the tabard is a little bit out of place. What chest piece are you? Oh, yeah, I know what chest piece you're using. Uh, the gloves and the boots are Wild Gladiator. Oh, is it the different coloration? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, sometimes I forget which ones are the uh, actual Paladin ones. Because uh, you are a Paladin, right? Yeah, you're a Paladin. Uh, and which ones are the HSC? I, I need to remember those colorations. I've been pretty bad about that. But it is what it is. Regardless, I like it a lot. I think this is probably one of the better looking sets that we've seen so far. I really like the old deer chest piece. I think it fits really well with a number of different sets. And so seeing this guy use it right here is awesome. I like to see that a lot. Tabard sucks. Yeah, probably Tabard is the main thing that needs to get worked on. But overall, I think this one is all right. What do you guys think? Pretty much... Pretty much average, in my opinion. Pretty much average, but maybe a little bit above average. Epic heals the Kingslayer from the guild. Has gone Link dead. Just got back to WoW. Ready for a new expansion. Wanted to try my luck from queue up. Sorry, nothing mugged. It looks like shit. LOL. Love ya and love chat. So this is nothing transmog. You know the funny thing about this, though? Is that you still have a better set than shit Shinatra. So you know what, man? Think about it like this. You're not in last place, and you didn't even try. Yeah, he's still ahead. He's still ahead, man. Shit, <laughs> Look, dude, I had to say it. Uh, yeah, this is obviously not a very good set, but it is what it is. All right, uh, let's move on. Fire Lord Cozy from the Guild Beacon. So this is a Time Lord Chronomancer set using the shoulders right there from Dragon Soul. That weapon is Fellow Malorn, I believe. And uh, that belt, I don't even know where the fuck that belt is from. I don't know, I kind of like this. No, I, I do also like... Wait, say something again? Say something again. Say something again. No, man, like, come on, dude! Dude, I swear to God, they jiggle whenever she talks. I swear to fucking God. Like, a blizzard, dude? Yeah, look at that, dude. I know, I know, I know it, dude. I fucking know it. Hands up? Yo, dude. Listen, I never show both my hands, all right? Well, listen, this set does look pretty good. The helmet right there, obviously, is from the BRD uh, fucking rare spawn. It's uh, Ambassador Flame Lash and BRD. And uh, let's see. Or you could have also got from the anniversary event, too. And uh, everything else, I think, really, really fits together well. I like this set a lot. What do you guys think about it? I think it fits together really well. And as a Chronomancer transmog, especially from like a little bit of a distance there, like it looks really, really good. Uh, wrong helmet. I think the helmet's fine. Uh, the cloak isn't really that amazing, I would say. And uh, that actually makes it look even worse. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Tell him to do a sigh. All right, slash sigh. Yeah, slash sigh. A 
still waiting. Streamed away. She's not gonna do it. She doesn't want us to objectify her. Yeah, she doesn't want us to objectify her. It's okay. I mean, this is 2020. We can't ask for those kinds of things anymore, all right? Okay, let's go with the next one. Duelist Thor from the Guild Braveheart. This is awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm gonna change this song. I'm gonna listen to this right now. This is this is really cool. Like that helmet right there is one of the hunter helmets that came from uh, the first tier of Legion. Those shoulders there are just random shoulders that you get from, uh, I don't even remember where the fuck they were from. Basically just like Kul Questing. And then a lot of the other items are just from Kul Questing too. Like the, the gloves, the belt, and the boots. And what tabard is that? And then that weapon right there is Last Lap from Kel'Thuzad 25, man. This shield right here is one of the Warlords of Draenor Shields. Again, it drops specifically from Grimmel Depot, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, it's one of the Warlords of Draenor Shields regardless, so I think it's from the dungeons. And I think this is good. Like, this is straight up a good-ass fucking set. Like, the colorations look really, really good. I like the undertones of green with, like, the uh, the sets that are a little bit farther out there. Like, I like this a lot. It's a full set? Y'all think this is a full set? I don't think it's a full set, bro. Like, I'll go ahead and I'll double check, but I don't think it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not a fucking full set. I know for a fact the helmet's not part of the set. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's almost a full set. Well, we'll see if he's going to win or not, but I do like what he's got going on here. Yeah, it looks great. Helmet's from Legion. I know that. Yeah, it's from the first tier of Legion. I believe it's the PvP version, but I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, that's not the PvP version. I don't know what the coloration is. Oh, wow. Junkyard Power Stain from the Guild Indestructible. What the fuck? This is badass. Belt sucks, cock. I, I see that. Uh, so that chest piece right there is from Trial of the Crusader. The shoulders right there come from uh, Naxxramas Tin Man Paladin Offset Shoulders. Those weapons right there are from... Are those the Tyrannical Gladiator Swords? Holy shit! I would have never thought to use those. That looks really, really nice. God damn. And then he's got the, the legs, the boots, and also the gloves there from another set as well. God damn, what do you guys think about this? I really, really, really like this set. What do you guys think? I think it looks fucking badass. This is a badass looking set right here. Fix the belt? Uh, yeah, fix the belt, and you're gonna have a, a real big winner. Like, I don't know if this is gonna be able to compete, but right now, I like it, and we haven't had a lot of, like, really, really strong contestants anyway, so I think this is a pretty good looking set, man. Overall, it looks good. Looks like a Death Knight doing an alliance. A Death Knight doing an alliance sponsorship. <laughs> yeah. This is a Death Knight sponsored stream for the alliance. That's good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Knight Raygorn from the Guild Personality. Okay. So that belt right there is from Mythic Hellfire Citadel for, uh, what do you call it? For, uh, Paladins. And then the helmet there. Uh, because that's the brown version of the helmet, that means that helmet right there comes from Island Expeditions. Those weapons right there are either World Breaker or the, uh, or the Gladiator's Bone Grinders. The chest piece, the gloves, the legs, and the boots are all from the, uh, what do you call it? Those are the sets that you're able to get from just Zul'Dazar, different world quests, and also some of the dungeons. And then the shoulders right there come from Freehold, it's last boss. Those are Azerite shoulders. So, I like this set a lot, but I feel like this set is too aggressive. It's like sexually aggressive in a way that makes people uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like he's basically a gladiator. And I don't know if I can handle that. Yeah, it's like, I, I don't know, man. Drain eye, yeah, it's too much, man. It's a little bit too much. It's like you come out there with your nipples out on your flippy floppies with your big ass fucking belt and your giant maces. Yeah, yeah, that's too much. Let's go to the next one. Ooh. It was hard to make stuff over the chest piece and shoulders. I don't know if you think it's trash. I like it. Uh, Akalia the Gullible from the Guild A of them. So, this is really, really, really nice. So, that weapon right there is the Wonder Boy of the Northern Kings. Come from Island Expedition. So, shoulders right there from the normal tier 11 set for uh, Warriors. The chest piece there is obviously the uh, uh, heroic version of the Chosen Dead chest piece that comes from Trial of the, Sorry, not uh, uh, Trial of Hour. And then so are the legs from the same place. 
that belt right there. Relentless Gladiator's belt from tier, uh, sorry, season seven in Rapid Lich King. Uh, those gloves there are from, because they're the blue version of the gloves, those are the normal mode Primal Gladiator's gloves for Warriors. And then those boots are just a random green item that comes from Warlords of Raynor. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. This is a nice looking badass fucking set. I love it whenever people come in here with these sets. And if I ever see V for Virgin, shut up, Super Tease. You wanna fucking say that to shit to me again? Yeah, right, dude. Uh, I like this a lot. I think all the pieces fit together really well. The only problem that I might have is with the belt. But the thing is with the belt is that you have the belt on there to make the shoulders make sense. And if you didn't have the belt there, then the only other belt that you could use is the uh, the earthen belt, which is be the other belt that drops from Maloriac, I believe. And I don't think that would make sense either. So you need the belt to have the shoulders make sense. And everything that comes together really works out. Like, I genuinely think this is a nice looking set, bro. Like, what do you guys think? Opinions, thoughts? Legs are too blue, though? No, they're not. Uh, yeah, this is really, really good. I, I like it a lot. Good fucking job. What's your name again? Akali of the Gullible. Good fucking job. Dark Go of the Deeps from the Guild Word of Elysium. Uh, so we've got the, I think those are the Notorious Gladiators PvP swords from uh, 8.2. And let's see, the shoulders there again from Freehold. Uh, I don't know, guys. It's it's kind of a basic looking set, but it fits together really well. Like, it, it does fit together really well. And you've also got, you got crackers on your shoulders. Look at that big old fucking beak, dude. Look at that big old motherfucker. I don't know, man. I think this is a really nice looking set. Uh, Dwarf Sparrow? I don't know about Dwarf Sparrow or anything like that, but I think this does fit really well together. Uh, I'll go ahead, let's see what people say. What do you guys think about this set or not? Do you like it or what? Uh, Dwarf has a huge cock. Yeah, true, dude. Weapons suck. Yeah, I think this is a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, it's not particularly original because it's using a theme, right? But I do like it. Uh, I do like it in terms of it being a pirate transmog. Uh, so yeah, I would say this is a nice looking set. And it might actually get a placing. I'm not going to promise a placing, but it might actually get a placing. We'll see what else we have uh, people come in here with. Talon Queen Drunanta from the guild Fan and Friends. Fran and Friends. Hmm. Cataclysmic Gladiator's Helmet. I never see druids use that. The Gineer, uh Artifact Weapon. Chest piece right there from uh, Trial of the Crusader. That's the tier 11 chess piece, rogue offset version, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. And um, the shoulders, I always forget where these are from. Are these from Blackrock Foundry? Living Wood Spalders. I, I always think they're from Blackrock Foundry. I don't remember very well. Uh, wrong leggings? It's hard for me to say. Yeah, they are. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, normal mode. I really, really like the shoulders. I actually think this fits together really well. But the problem that I have with this is the fact that you have like a very, very strong nature themed transmog at the beginning. And then you change it a little bit with having like little pouches. And then the kilt, I think, is a little bit different color. Kilt is part of the chest. Can't swap it out. Yeah, I mean, maybe you could try something else, but I could see what you're trying to go for, man. And I like what you're trying to go for. All right. I don't want to say that's a bad thing. So, yeah, it looks OK. So, yeah, uh, decent looking set uh, could be better. But uh, overall, I really like the helmet and shoulders combo. And also the weapon, I think, fits really well as well. Go to the next one. Draxian, the faceless one from the guild, the Oblivion. So. We've seen a lot of these, haven't we? This is pretty much a full set, though, right? I, I mean, how did how did Illidan hurt his knee? He fell. Wow, that joke's as original as your set. Two sets? Yes, I know that. Uh, so basically, you're using the Rogue Mythic uh, Nighthold and uh, Emerald Nightmare set. 
for your shoulders, helmet, gloves, and boots, and also belt. And then the other two pieces are just some other random bullshit that I don't even really know where they're from. And then the weapons right there are, of course, the Havoc Demon Hunter Challenge Artifact Weapons from the Mage Tower. Now, this does look pretty good. Like, let's be real, it does look pretty good. And if you're edgy, and, like, you still listen to My Chemical Romance, this is the kind of shit that you like to listen to. If your favorite band is Five Finger Death Punch, this is your transmog if you play a Demon Hunter. And that's okay. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it also, it is what it is. And I, I just... It's very, very edgy. I don't think that it's original enough for me to give it a place in. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, you're basically using all of the important pieces and changing two of the under pieces and saying it's not a full set? Man, like, I, I don't know. Like, I like what you're doing. It looks cool, but it's nothing that I would really get too excited about, okay? He listens to Godsmack? Well, I listen to Godsmack, so I can't make fun of him for that, okay? So let's go ahead and relax. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next one. Death Lord Hetero Atamo from the guild Buffalo Soldiers. Can you say thanks, Draxian? Can you say thanks? The reason why I want you to say thanks to, to Death Lord Hetero here is because your set comparatively looks so much better and more original and better because this set is probably the worst abomination that I've ever seen in my entire life. That helmet right there, which is, I believe, the uh, Vicious Gladiator, no, sorry, Malevolent Gladiator's helmet for DKs. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, the fucking orange makes your color theme look better. That's how bad it is. This is the sorriest, saddest excuse for a set that I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, if you look at Demise, you're gonna use Demise with the mythic, uh, mythic Argus gloves from Antorus, and then the shoulders from a Primal Gladiator set? Are you fucking kidding me? No, no, don't start feeling sorry for him. Don't start feeling- Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad. Oh, chat, feel sorry for me. I'm so sad. You know what else is sad is your set. Actually, it's beyond sad. It's a fucking tragedy. This is the worst set that I have seen in the entire competition. This is the saddest, sorriest excuse for a transmog that I have seen in probably months. Like, this is so fucking awful. I don't even know what to say. And then what was your thought process behind using the chest piece and the leggings from Strathlome back in 2005? Looks cool. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't look cool. It looks like shit. It looks like absolute fucking shit. Alright, it doesn't look cool. Not as cool as your full set, though. Wait, do I have a full... Yeah, well, I'm not in a competition. Yeah, well, I'm not in a competition. Alright, so that doesn't count. Yeah. If, if you want me to, I'll come up with a good set if you guys want. And it's just people, people I think don't like my sets because they're my sets. And the standards are too high. Zara Empire's Twilight. So that axe right there drops from, uh... Scourge Lord Tyrannus in Pit of Saran Heroic. And the shoulders there are from, uh, what's that? ICC 25-man Heroic for DKs, or sorry, for, for Paladins. And then the, uh, the... The gloves and also the boots there are from... Do it? Wait, do what? Okay, all right, I'll come up with a good set. I will, I will. Uh, and then the helmet right there is the... Uh, let's see, that is one of the either PvP or one of the DK HFC helmets from 6.2. That belt right there is one of the new Nylotha belts, and the leggings and the chest right there are the questing items that you're able to get from uh, from Legion. So, and, and the boots and the gloves there are HFC... Sorry, not HFC, Siege of Orgamar, uh Mythic boots for DKs. What do you guys think about this? Uh, I'm actually really kind of on the fence about it. I don't know, man. What, you guys see how he's getting off the frame so he can transmog himself and try to come back and think he's got a different set? That's really cute, dude. Really cute hetero. Keep it up, man. Okay. So yeah, listen. I think this is an alright looking set. All things considered, I think it's an alright... Okay, yeah, it's an alright-looking set. 
it's nothing amazing, but I do like the idea of using that weapon because it's not really very used that often. I actually, it hasn't been used for so long, I forgot its name. So that's cer certainly something to be said. Patrick, thanks for five gifted subs. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, Patrick. So yeah, I, I think this is a decent looking set. Nothing particularly amazing, nothing particularly great, but it's a good set. It's a new theme, and I don't really know how the helmet and shoulders are supposed to fit together, but you know, it could be better, it could be worse. All right, let's go ahead. Well, yeah, we're not going to skip this song. This song's fine. What the fuck, guys? Uh, I do really like the belt and uh, the gloves and the boots combo. I, I like that a lot. This is uh, th this is actually pretty good, I would say. Like, the weapon is just, the weapon throws me off, honestly. Prepared Azeroth Champion. Do you know what this set says? You're actually, like, prepared the multi-boxer. Because instead of trying to rely on actual skill, you've just used money. You have a full tier 3 set. This is embarrassing. This is a terrible set. And the only reason that you have these pieces on is you think that I'm going to give you props for using... Yeah, ha ha, it's really funny. Ha ha, it's really funny. So that's Demonic Tyranny on his weapons right there from the Legion 2400 enchant. The shoulders, the gloves, the belt, and the boots are from the Dreamwalker tier 3 set. And then the leggings and also the uh, the chest piece are from the uh, bone size set that's tier 3. For... Stop. Who the fuck is doing this? Who is it? Dominica. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it? What was it that made you want to do it? Logan, we're all waiting. 50,000 people are waiting on you. I did it for How old are you, Logan? Tell me the truth. How old, how old are you? 16, I made this character back in Cataclysm. Logan? Listen to me. 13 years ago, I was a 16-year-old spirit. And you know what happened whenever I was a 16-year-old spirit? I had people make fun of me and call me a 16-year-old Spurg. And it took a long time, but eventually I cut that shit out. Logan, do not be an annoying fucking retard in the competitions again. Nobody interrupted your turn. I understand your Ritalin medication might be a little bit late for the day. Go jump around, drink another monster, relax, and just chill out. Wait for your fucking turn. All right, so now we're back to prepared set. All right, it's fucking garbage. All right, it's pretty much all we got to say, right? Sucks. Next. Titan Slayer Killadin. Ah, suck my dick. Titan Slayer Killadin. Uh, he looks pretty cool. I like the helmet. So what really, really, what blows me away, he's a kid? That's why I'm being mean to him. Because he's gonna learn. Like, whenever I was a stupid-ass, obnoxious, attention-seeking, spurg-ass kid, I had people that were older than me that were fucking them not. They treated me like a fucking stupid-ass kid. And eventually, I stopped doing it. That is the cycle of life. I was once the spurg, and now I'm the asshole. And in 20 years, Logan's gonna be a fucking asshole, too. That's right. It's the cycle of life. Belt right there is from the Waste of Time, which we just had with Logan. And then the swords right there are from the, uh, that's the movie event. 
Uh, the boots and also I think the helmet right there are from the Chosen Dead set from uh, two, uh, sorry, uh, Trial of Hour. And uh, the gloves and the shoulders there are from the pre-order uh, event thing. And then the leggings there are, I believe, is that the 7th Legion legs? Oh, it's Helms from Aldir? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I messed that up. Yeah, helmet is from Aldir. Is that 7th Legion? Let me see here. Demon Bane leggings. Okay, 7th Legion chest. Random Legion legs. Okay, I didn't notice that at all. I, I didn't recognize it as well. All right, there we go. Color match, but too many themes going on. Yeah, I do feel like you might have a little bit too much themes going on. Overall, though, I like it a lot. The only thing that I genuinely don't really like about this set is that you have more of, of like a Titan theme going on, but your weapons. Oh, what's this song? Um, but your weapons don't really fit very well, and I think that's really what the problem is. Is like you have like these alliance weapons. And then everything else about it doesn't really work as well as I think uh, it could have. Let's just say that. They couldn't have worked could work as well as it could have. All right, let's go to the next one. Artisan Tone Deaf. This is really good. I, wow, this is really fucking good. This is awesome. Holy shit. What do you guys think? Like, I really like this a lot. Uh, Witch King Gandalf? Yeah, this would be Gandalf if he took the one ring. So that staff right there, I believe that's the staff that comes from Gorefiend and Hellfire Citadel. Great. Spur, Spur of the Vate Devourer. Yeah, I think that's from Gorefiend and Hellfire Citadel. Those shoulders right there are from, I believe, that is the LFR version of, or it could be the heroic version, I forgot which one, uh, of the Priest Tier 13 shoulders that came from Dragon Soul. That helmet? Is this helmet actually from this raid? I think it might be. Is this the priest tier 2.5 helmet? No, it's demonic gladi- wait, demonic gladiator? Wait, what? Holy shit! And then the gloves right there, are these just like random legion gloves? This is fucking awesome. Like, this is actually a really nice looking set. I very- yeah, I, I didn't know that. I, I didn't even know demonic gladiator helmet looked like that at all. This is really good. What do you guys think? Opinions, thoughts, staff doesn't match? Yes, it does. I think the staff does match. Uh, because, yes, obviously, like, the the shoulders do kind of imply more of, like, a... Uh, what's the word for it? More of an orthodox theme. But I think that because they have, like, a weird purple coloration, that it kind of could also go against that as well, with, like, the weird staff. And so I, I like that a lot. It looks really, really nice. And this is actually one of my favorite sets that I've seen so far. This is really, really well put together. Hearts in the chat for ass, man. Oh, thanks, man. More Gorn from Vengeance Incarnate from the guild Night Terror. So you're thinking about playing Bless Online. No, what do you think? I played out weave shit? No, man. No, $150 for a fucking game? I, I think that's so crazy that shit was three years ago, man. Like, that is honestly so insane. That fucking clip was three years ago. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's actually so fucking weird to think about that. Regardless, um, this set could have come from three years ago and I still wouldn't be impressed. It's not that good. Uh, you've just got some more of Draenor items that you randomly put together. Been here since then? Well, thanks a lot, man. But, uh, I would have hoped that you'd pick up a little bit better fashion sense along the way. This is not really amazing. Uh, this is, it's a horrendous set. I, I, you know, I really like that word. Horrendous. Let's use that one more often. Horrendous. Uh, can't we decide between Horde and Alliance? Okay, yeah, we'll watch the clip. Just one second. Let, let's watch the clip. I like, I like that. So, were you thinking about playing Bless Online? <laughs> Was I thinking about playing some weave shit? No, dude, I ain't played a weave shit. 150 bucks? Are you shitting me, dude? Are you telling me it costs 150 bucks to start playing the collect? Get out of here, dude. This was a good time, man. Who actually. This was such a good fucking time. I was. I, I had a lot of good times back then. It was fucking amazing. I just, I had to, two, yeah, it was only two years ago. Okay, guys, you're not quite as old as you thought. Uh, wow.
Uh, it's actually really funny to think back to uh, how long ago that was. This set, it just sucks. Like, it just, this set just sucks. I mean, like, I don't know what else really to say about it besides that. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't like any of the themes that you're going on with. Like, I don't know. Does anybody think this set looks good? Uh, I don't know if it's worthy of an orange. Like, relax. But it's not that amazing either. Uh, it puts, yeah, it, it's, it's horrendous. Like, it's just, it's not good. Hmm. All right, let's go to the next one. What the fuck? Fire Lord Nice Tots from the Iron Bank of Azeroth. What the fuck? So that's the shaman, uh, that's the shaman, uh, challenge mode set for Mr. Pandaria. Shoulders, gloves, legs, and boots. And then also the belt. Oh, actually, no, never mind. That belt is from Throne of Thunder. And then, uh, Pogs in chat? You can't say Pogs in chat to influence their vote? That's the most dishonest, disreputable bullshit. You cannot do that, man. Uh, that, the, these are... These are ill-gotten pogs, and they are not deserved. All right, so that weapon, obviously, is the black hand. And then the chest piece here is probably the best part about your set, okay? I do like the chest piece that you've got going on here. Now, let's just look at it real quick so anybody doesn't know. Dragon Raider Harness. Now, where does this come from? It comes from the Island Expeditions, and it's actually not even a chest piece. It's a, um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a, a tattoo set, which I think is a really cool idea. I hope Blizzard does more of those, actually. And so I think this is a decent looking set, but I don't think that the weapon really fits that well with it, honestly. I remember whenever I was going with this set, what I ended up going with instead of that weapon is the Malevolent Gladiator's uh, Spell Power Mace. And uh, I thought that one was much better. I'll show you guys which one I'm talking about. I might as well since we're here. Okay, where's the Malevolent Gladiator's Spell Power Mace? Yeah, this one right here. Malevolent Gladiator's Gavel. Uh, I feel like this one just fits a little bit better with those, uh, those other things too, uh, personally. Wait, what are these for? Weapon is fine, dude? You think the weapon's fine? Uh... Hammer's better. Two-handed enhance? Yeah, I guess, like, I mean, the two-handed enhance is a little bit... It's a little bit silly, but, you know, it is what it is. Um... I, I don't know, I just don't really think that the weapon fits. Like, the weapon is, like, fucking some kind of fucking forged in fire in a foundry, and the guy's a shaman. He's not even wearing a chest piece. I mean, it just doesn't really fit the theme, man. It, it just doesn't. It just doesn't fit the fucking theme. All right, nice tots. It's all right, but I'm not getting overly excited about it, okay? Let's go to the next one. Inquisitor Dual Fez. This is amazing. I love this. This is an amazing, nice-looking set. I like it a lot. It looks fucking amazing. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, this is really, really nice. Uh, what, what are the questions? I thought we had a, a fucking thing to... Is, didn't we have a bot to time that out? That's really annoying. I always, I never liked that, personally. I always thought that was, like, uh, it was dumb. But whatever. It doesn't really matter. Regardless, I think this set actually fits together really, really well. Um, let's see. Too skinny? Yeah, I think it's too skinny, too, but, I mean, like, overall, I feel like that's part of what makes it a little bit more sinister, you know what I mean? Because you've got the Antorus Helm going on right there, with some of the other earlier pieces from Legion, I like that a lot. I don't even know where this, uh, this offhand is from at all. And then you have this, yeah, what the fuck is this offhand? Wait, that's not an offhand. Wait, what is your weapon? I Stalk of Ilganoth. Oh, it's a wand! What the fuck? Yeah, I think this set actually does look really, really good. Looks fucking amazing. If Helmet was something different, then it'd be good. Yeah, I feel like maybe it'd be a little bit better, but for me personally, I just don't really think the set looks that great at all. Um, like, actually... Let me think for a minute. Let me think for a minute. You know what? Let me move back a little bit. I'm going to give him this. I'm going to give him this. It's original. I have not seen a set like this in a long time. I don't know if I've ever seen a set like this. 
I think what really makes it good is like the tight fitting leggings and like the gloves and boots and everything with the helmet there that just looks crazy. So you know what? No, I'm thinking about it. bipolar. No, sorry, I was thinking about something else. Yeah, I, I said the wrong thing. Sorry, I, I have very bad verbal dyslexia sometimes, and I uh, I say things that I don't mean to. That's why I literally, I, I, I swear to God, guys, I don't even think the N-word. I don't even think the word, because I don't want to accidentally say it on my stream. Uh, I, I do not even think the N-word. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I, I never say it anymore. I don't fucking, I don't do anything. I, I do not want to accidentally say it. Which one? Uh, the Grand. Yeah, because I, I don't like remembering Burning Crusade. It just upsets me a lot. That's why. Uh, anyway, guys. So this does look like a decent looking set. I do like it. Yeah, I, I'll say that. I do like it. This is a good set. Not the best, but it is a good set. Okay, let's go to the next one. Inquisitor Dragon Saber. In the grim future, there is only war. So is this a Space Marine set? Holy shit! I screamed cryo cannon on the back. Oh wow. Okay, this is a badass set anymore. Yeah, yeah, I used to say it all the time, but I don't say it anymore now. Right? I, I don't want to get in trouble. Like, yeah, I've I've made that very obvious. Like I it, that's not a secret or anything like that. Uh it's not like I'm trying to hide that information. Okay. So let's look at what he's got going on here. The helmet right there is from the, uh, I think that's from the Warlords of Draenor set. And uh, that's the Paladin offset. I don't know if that's Paladin. I need to get these colors right. I don't know if that's Paladin or, yeah, Wild Gladiator. There's like five different versions of these, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, now you look at the shoulders, the gloves, the legs, and the boots right there. Actually, these boots, this is a very interesting choice that he's made here. So the gloves, the legs, and the boots right here, or sorry, uh, not the boots. The, the shoulders, the gloves, and the legs there are all from the... Uh, the elite set and then the boots here are from the normal mode set which i actually like that because i think that the elite boots are stupid looking right yeah that they, they're just pretty stupid looking man uh, i'm not a big fan of it uh, at all uh bro take the chainsaw sword well no the chainsaw sword it's a one-hander so it doesn't really fit that well and then the belt right there this belt is from uh siege of orgamar uh lfr for paladins and then the chest piece there of course is from the uh uh Nighthold, Warrior Set, Normal Mode. And then the Tabard is of our guild. What do you guys think? You guys like it? I actually like this a lot. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good Space Marine set. So. Hmm. Okay, head shit. What happened to your friend? Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Uh, looks good. Tabard matches helmet. Too close to a full set. Best one so far. Tabard kind of ruins it. Yeah, Tabard could be a little bit better. But overall, I mean, I do think it looks decent. Okay, guys. Too small model for SM. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you can't really have a model that's big enough to be a Space Marine model. I mean, like, let's be real. Little close to a full set. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I do like it a lot. Uh, it's a nice looking set. And it's certainly something that I haven't really seen before. What the fuck? Brawler Perma Sad. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this, dude? This looks like she's on the body painting section of Twitch. Look at the look at those titties, man. Look at that. It looks like they're just straight up painted on. Are you kidding me? I don't know about the chest piece, bro. And then the belt right there could either come from Setha Calls Heroic. Or also, it could be the Dreadnought Bell. They're pretty much all the same. I think that's specifically the Seth Galls one. Doesn't really matter. Those axes right there come from Utgard Pinnacle, I believe. The shoulders there are the tier 7.5 shoulders. And then also, the leggings there are from uh, ICC. Sorry, uh, Old War 25-man heroic. Uh, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Pretty good-looking set. Good, good set. Yeah, I, I mean, you know what, guys? Uh, I, I think that it could be, it, it could be a winner. Uh, yeah, I mean, you never know, man. It could absolutely be a fucking winner. Best set so far. Yeah, clearly. Um, okay, turn around again. It's just the chess piece sucks, man. Like, the chess piece just fucking sucks. You've got to figure out a better chess piece and a better pair of, uh, a better belt. Like, they're just so low res. It's like every single time that I see a set like this, 
it makes me worried that my graphics card is dying because it only halfway partially rendered your set. That's genuinely the way that I feel whenever I see sets like this. You can't have that much of a difference between the, uh, the pixel counts, okay? She has no fucking boots. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Weiser the Beloved from the guild Cool and Nice. And that staff right there, I believe that staff is the Edict of Argus, and based off of its undercoloration is the Mythic version of the Edict of Argus from Mythic uh, Archimond, and he's got the uh, the Void Glow Enchant on it, with the chest piece there from the uh, Void Elf Heritage Armor, and then the shoulders and the belt and the gloves there from... Uh, where are those from? That is from the Mythic Tomb of Sargeras Warlock set. And then the tabard there is from Shadowmoon Valley Questline. Helmet there is a tier 1 helmet. That's pretty fucking impressive just by itself, the fact that he would ever use the tier tier 1 helmet. Uh, I, I don't really know, man. What do you guys think? Uh, won't match? Yeah, I don't know, guys. I think it looks pretty decent. Like, what do you guys think? Uh, back? Uh, nothing goes together? Yeah, I mean, it is a little bit kind of weird, but I do like what you did with the weapon and the shoulders and the chest piece, I mean, right? right with the, uh, the wings. Uh, I think the void wings and the weapon look really cool together, but you're right that it probably does have a little bit too much colorations. I think there's a number of really good ways that you can make the Void Elf transmogs work very well together. I've seen some people combining them with, like, the Warlock Tier 4 stuff and everything like that, and I like that. It looks good. But for this, personally, I'm just not really a big fan of it. It looks okay, but that's all there really is to say about it. Okay. Uh, I really like it. It's okay. It's not amazing enough. Asmon Klob, the faceless one, from the guild Literal Gods. Oh my god. This is awful. This is actually awful. You look like a scuffed Li Shin. Listen, man. The Tyrannical Gladiator Warrior set is, if I could delete any set, it is fucking awful. It is at, wait, you guys think it looks good? Are you fucking kidding me? No, it does not look good. You've got to be insane or fucking blind to think that this looks good. So the chest piece right there is from a pre-order uh, pre -order event. Uh, the helmet there is the uh, Tyrannical Gladiator's helmet. The shoulders and the gloves there are from the uh, Tier 11... Uh, what's it? The Tier 11... Yikes? What do you mean, yikes? This sucks! Like, it, it's not good! The hell? I, I feel like... Like, you really think that this... You guys really think this is good? Like, I want you to tell me right now. Is this actually good? It could be a WoW boss design? Yeah, but Blizzard, like, that doesn't say a lot. Yeah, this is not that good, man. Like, I really don't think that it fits that well together. The belt is interesting. Look, the belt just clips right through the... Oh, guys, hey, look. Look how good it is. Oh, look at it, guys. This is such a good-looking set. Jeez, wow. Are you fucking kidding me, guys? You're going to use the Tyrann... I'll give you props for this, okay? You tried to use the Tyrannical... You tried to use the Tyrannical Gladiator set, and it's not a complete disaster, okay? Fuck it. You know what? I bet that's exactly what you thought whenever you put those pieces together. This is... Fucking... This is so bad. This is actually the worst set I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, this is so fucking bad. Like, I, I, are you kidding me, dude? This is so fucking terrible. This is an awful looking set, guys. I'm sorry to say, but it just looks like absolute fucking trash. Uh, even, like, comparatively, you know what? This is his fucking technique. <coughs> As he comes in here with a, with a shit set, and then he gets on and he puts on an even shittier set, and then he's like, oh, well, that one's bad? Well, I'll just go to my other original shit set, and make it comparatively look better. Asmon Klob. This is a joke. This is a terrible looking set, Asmon Klob. You have to do better than this. This is so bad. Let's go to the next one. The Fabulous. From the guild Nomasararies. 
Um, I didn't know if it would be possible, but somehow somebody out here has come up with something even worse than that. It just, this is so awful. Like, this is actually so fucking, like, it's just, it's not terrible. Okay, it's not terrible, but in general, I don't think it's that good either. Like, I like the idea. It's kind of like, what, like a, a warrior in the Ottoman Empire or some kind of shit? Like, it, it's it's an interesting theme. We've never seen this theme used before, but regardless of never seeing the theme used before, there's a reason why I don't like it. Hmm. A Janissary? Janissary is the elite warriors of the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, I don't think this guy'd make the cut. Sorry to say. Not a... Uh, not, not that big of a fan, man. I, I don't think so at all. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, you don't like the color brown? Well, I don't like the color brown whenever the sets are shit. But you know what? Sometimes the color brown doesn't mean that the sets are shit. But usually, at least over here, it has been. Yeah, this guy isn't a janissary. He's a janitor. This is awful. Listen. Like, I I'm sorry, but the shoulders don't really fit that well. What the fuck is this? What are you gonna put up? You're literally putting on your robe and wizard hat. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? This is fucking awful, dude. Absolutely fucking awful. Try and get better luck. Ooh. Ooh. Titan Slayer Ralrock from the Guild Indestructible. It's my guild. That's good. I'm proud of you. This is good. This is actually really good. What do you guys think? So well, let's look at what we've got going on here, right? Those boots right there are from Mythic Nighthold. Those leggings there and also the chest piece is from the uh, Tomb of Sargeras set for uh, Demon Hunters, or sorry, Death Knights. And then the belt there is from uh, Normal Mode? Throne of Thunder, I believe? Uh, that's the belt. I know it's from the Throne of Thunder uh, DK set. I don't know which difficulty. Those shoulders there come from Oldowar. The helmet is from the, uh, that is the PvP Elite Helmet. Yeah, it's the Elite PvP Helmet. And then same with the gloves as well. And he's using Devastation's Hour from Nizar. I think this is really good. What do you guys think? You just like Jagged Plate set? No! Here's why I like this. Is he's using pieces... Every single piece of gear here basically is from a different set. This is an old war shoulders with a chest piece and the leggings here from Tomb of Sargeras, a belt from Throne of Thunder, helmet and helmet and gloves from PvP, and the boots are from Mythic Nighthold, and the weapons from uh, from Nylotha. Are you gonna fucking sit here and lie to me and tell me that this wasn't a very unique combination of gear that ended up fitting together very well together? Fuck you, idiot. Fuck you. This is a good looking set. You don't have to make him look like your fucking mom. This is really, really nice. This is a very unique set. He's made a unique combination of armor, and I think it looks good. So, you know what? This is a nice looking set. Can you guys agree with me here? Don't listen. It's unique, but trash? What do you mean it's trash? This is badass. I really like this. Yeah, two mugs before it were more unique? Yeah, of course it's unique. If somebody takes their own shit and they draw a pentagram in the back of their fucking, in their backyard on canvas and they take it over to an art expedition, expedition, it's going to be original. It's going to be unique. But just because you smear your shit on a canvas doesn't mean, and it's original, doesn't mean that it's anything special. Okay? Zach, thanks for the 10 subs. Appreciate that. Uh, sorry, T T twelve K. Thank you very much for the uh for the subs, the ten subs. Thank you very much. Yeah, just because you smear shit on a canvas in a unique way, looking at you, doesn't mean that it's anything special. This is unique. I have never seen a set like this, and that impresses me. I look at these sets every fucking day. Get out of the fucking way, dude. Fuck off. Yeah, this is a badass set. I like it a lot. Illidari. Il Ill Illidagalu. Ill Illidagalu. I, I don't even know. Like, how the fuck do you say your name? 
uh, Illidari Illidan. Okay, we're gonna do I Illidari Illidan. This is a stupid ass set. So these sets, this is just getting worse and worse. It's so badass, it's trash. This looks like Illidan's dad. Like, it looks like dog shit, man. Look at him, he's got those weird ass fucking masks on. He's got those shoulders right there, which I think come from the Highmall set. I forgot even which one it's from, though. And then those weapons there come from, I believe, Heroic Car- Thank you. Heroic Cargath, Blade Fist, and Highmall. I mean, the weapons are way too fucking big. Uh, the boots and the leggings don't really look that good with the chest piece, but we'll just let that happen. He's a divorced demon hunter. Yeah. He's an actual divorced demon hunter. With a fuck- he's got a mohawk? Are you fucking kidding me? This looks like trash! This is actually the worst set. This is- Oh my- He's a night elf mohawk. He's a night elf mohawk, and his name is Illidan. His name is based off of Illidan. Uh, it doesn't get any more stereotypical at that. Oh wait, yes it does. Read his fucking guild name. Attorneys at Wall. What's your belt? It's a primal gladiator belt. Is it? It's, it's not, right? Like, what is the primal gladiator belt? Oh, I haven't transmogged the belt over. Yeah, uh, I'll just, I'll actually put on my other belt right now so everybody can see the, uh, the full set. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. God damn, I look good. Fuck, I look good. It is a full set, though. It's not a big deal. Okay, yeah. This set's fucking terrible. Everything about this is, is not original. And, uh, well, I mean, I guess it is kind of partially original, which is the worst part about it. This is not very good. Uh, we want to see something a lot better from this Ill Illidari Illidagalu. Isabel the Love Fool. We meet again, Asmund. You told that my set yesterday looked like an average lock, so I decided to look different. I like it. This is good. This is actually real. Oh, wow. That's really nice. So the weapon right there comes from Jaina Proudmore. Sorry, the offhand does. That weapon right there is the, uh, I think that's one of the salvage crate weapons that you're able to get for more Lords of Draenor. Now, let me go ahead and double check. Saber of the Evan Blade. I think that's from the salvage crate, but I could be wrong about that. The kilt there comes from the uh, Darkshore Warfronts. The shoulders here, I think, come from... Are those Antorus shoulders? I think they are. No, they're the PvP shoulders. They're the Antorus offset, right? No, they're not. Fallen Avengers. Fuck, I don't remember that at all. I guess they are from Antorus, but I forgot exactly where. The helmet there is, comes from just uh, the... Uh, that's just Legion questing. It's a blue item. Not really a big deal. And then the chest piece, I think, also comes from the Darkshore Warfront. This is really nice. This is really fucking nice, guys. I think it's an actual girl. Why? Because it says Isabel? Like, you think that makes it an actual girl? Trust me, bro. Like, let me tell you something. It's a little bit of a secret. Just because they have a girl name doesn't mean that it's a girl. Take my word for it, okay? Yeah, it, it's... This, do, this set does look pretty decent, okay? I really like it, and it's a lot better than the other one that you're using. So you know what? I think this is definitely a positive-looking set, and it looks decent. Point out from Rich's room? Yeah, yeah. 2020, can't believe women on the internet. Yeah, there are no girls on the internet, obviously. All right, let's look at the next set. I'm Lord Crucitilio from the guild. I have no fucking idea. I have no fucking idea what that is. Wait, why am I one of these? I have no fucking idea what that means at all. Okay, go ahead. Come on, put it back on. Uh, what are you doing? Just put on your set, man. Like, I don't know, man. Like, uh, it's all right. Okay, winner, winner. I don't know if it's a winner. I think it's all right, though. Mm. Chest sucks. Well, regardless, guild name is Laughing Coffin. Well, I, I don't know. I feel like the chess piece is really the sore point here. Which, like, usually, I mean, I don't know. Like, the chess sucks. It just does. And with the Night Elf female, that should be the opposite. That should be the only part that you get right. 
But like with this set, it's still shitty. Like that actually makes it even worse. This looks like a scuffed sports bra. It sucks, bro. Like the the helmet and the shoulders, I think are fine. They match pretty well with the gloves and the belt. And the boots there are, hey, hey, relax, dude. That's the second time you've been trying to get attention in the stream. We'll get to you. Oh, we'll get to you. So we've got these, uh, okay. Listen, guys, relax. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, and she's got a tramp stamp, too. That's great. Okay, listen, guys. And I know it's not really quite a tramp stamp. Could be a little bit lower, but that's fine. Uh, I don't know. I think it sucks. Like, I'll be honest. I, I think it sucks. Like, it's just, it's not. Like this, wait, he has a macro for taking his clothes off. This guy's from Ragnaros, too. No wonder they never get anything done. They're sitting around taking their fucking Night Elf female character's clothes off. No fucking wonder. Uh, this is insane. God damn, it's fun fucking right. All right, let's look at this guy. Uh, all right, Battle War the Wrath. All right, so let's get the fuck. I I'm going to kick you out, man. I'm going to kick you out. Just just get, get in line, man. Give the guy his turn, okay? Even though he doesn't deserve it because he's being annoying. Like, just, just get, give the guy his turn. Okay, so Battle War Thusmer. Those axes right there come from Terran Gorefiend, I believe. Uh, I, I think it's Terran Gorefiend. It's the Soul Cleaver. And uh, that's uh, from Black Temple, obviously. The uh, the gloves and the belt right there come from Olduar 25, man. And I think the legs come from the same place. And uh, the shoulders right there come from the... Uh, dr oh, why is there an Eye of Pilrog? What are you doing? A stream delay? Oh god, you saw me! Oh, it wasn't me! It wasn't me, Asmin! I don't know what other warlock was doing. I was casting another spell. Get the fuck out of here. Checking the elves' booty. Alright, you know what? Actually, that's fine. Okay. You know what? Alright, so Tabard of the Lightborn. I don't know. I feel like this is a decent looking set. But it's nothing that's like super exciting. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not a big fan of the boots. These are like just random, uh, Wrath of the Witch King five-man boots. And I feel like they just look like trash. Like, the boots just look like trash. Uh, everything besides that, uh, is okay. I like the shoulders, and I like the old war pieces as well. I think that fits really well together. And even the tabard, I think, oddly fits well. The weapons are decent, too. But it's really the boots, and... I don't know, I just feel like something that's kind of off on it. The weapons don't fit. Yeah, the weapons are a little bit off, but the thing is, if you didn't have the weapons, the tabard wouldn't make sense either. And then there's also, like, the, uh, the yellow undertones, or, like, the, uh, yellow, like, fucking horns, I think, of the thing. Yeah, the yellow horns there, that wouldn't make sense either. So it's kind of just, like, a weird thing, where he kind of has to have that, or everything else wouldn't really fit together as well. This is a decent-looking set, but it could be a lot better. The fuck is this? Nero's the Horde Slayer. I'm gonna go with the Sinatus Altius. Isn't this a full set? Isn't this a full set? I feel like it is. Like, I don't even really know. Let me say two things. Number one, four expansions of set. Yeah, I think that belt's from, uh, from Firelands. And those weapons right there are from... Uh, isn't that from the Island Expeditions? Yeah, those are from Island Expeditions, and there are... Damn. Yeah, this is really, really good. It's from Throne of Thunder? Okay, Bells is Throne of Thunder. Regardless, I think this looks really, really good. Like, if it's not a full set, this genuinely looks good. I know some people might disagree with that, but I think it looks good. Might not be a winner, but it certainly looks good. Fellows out of place? Yeah, I think that the worst part about this is the helmet. The helmet, it's like, you have like this weird like demon hunter type vibe going on with these weapons with like all the blue and gold and then like you have the weird green shit coming out of your mouth like that's not a th that's not a look that i'd want to go with interesting choice of textures well it's unique and i think that's really what makes it special here is that the set looks unique class identity matters well yeah but not whenever your identity is to look like shit that's the problem so yeah, obviously class identity makes a difference, but whenever your class identity is looking like trash, then we have a problem. It could be better, could be worse. It's decent. I'd say it's a solid, I don't know, give, guys, give me, give me a rating on this guy's set. 
Tell me what you think. What do you think about this set? Let's look at some numbers. Devin, listen. You've come into the most competitive transmog competition in all of Azeroth. And you came out with a seven? I'd say that's pretty fucking good. You gotta figure figure out the uh, the helmet there. What the fuck? Uh, uh, I'm thinking about it, guys. I'm not really sure. Uh, what the fuck is this song? Dude, I love this fucking song, man. It's the part where he talks about how big, like, the, his dick being really big as Eiffel Tower, dude. That's my favorite part. But listen, anyway, the shoulders, the gloves, and the boots there come from, of course, the Trial of Valor set. Uh, the weapon there is the uh, Survival Hunter Artifact Weapon. Uh, the the leggings, I think actually the chest piece is from Legion. And I don't actually know where the belt is from, but judged on the way that it's modeled, it's probably from Emerald, uh, sorry, from Eternal Palace. So, mm, I think this is mediocre. Honestly, like you have the chosen dead items and you're trying to make it look like more of like a savage, like, I don't know, like some kind of like Huntress transmog. And I like that ideal. I think it looks decent, but I'm not really a big fan of it. Uh, new helm, uh, it's bog on him. Yeah, I mean, like, wait, the new helmet? Oh, what the fuck? I don't want to listen to that song. What the fuck? That's awesome. Yo, come in here next time and you'll actually get a placing with that. Uh, I don't let people change their mogs, though. Uh, if you, you only get one rating. Because if I do that, then I'd have people that are trying to change it constantly, and, like, you have to go in there with, with one, one transform. That's the rule. Um, regardless, this set is okay, but it's not really anything memorable. And now we have this guy. Who changed his sword and his shield. Okay. Now, actually, I think I kind of like the sword and shield better. Let's see what we got. Let's look at our losers and let's pick our winners. He who sees all, he who sleeps is now awake. Nizoth, grant me strength. Wow, you summoned a Voidwalker. That's impressive. Okay, tell me what you guys like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you like. That's a new set. Why didn't you just come in here with this one? This one looks a thousand times better. You should have just come in there with that one at the beginning. I don't know, guys. This is going to be hard for me to decide. I'm glad I did good this time. Yeah, me too. Stick a look at that stupid ass set you had before. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Deciding. Okay. All right. Third place. Third place is going to go. Second and third place are about even here. I want to say this right now before I go any farther. Second and third place are pretty much even here. Third place is going to go to Titan Slayer Raldroth from Indestructible. Okay, you can deposit the gold in the guild bank after the raid, but listen, man, I think this is a very unique and interesting set. I like it a lot. I feel like the colors fit together very well, and I think that because of that, I'm gonna give him the placing. He's using three different expansions worth of gear with multiple different themes that all seem to fit together very well and come out with something that's original and unique and really cool looking. So you know what? You want to know the truth with Raldroth? I don't even know who Raldroth is in my guild. I have never spoken to this person before. 
There is no prior communication with him. I have no idea about this guy at all. I don't know who the fuck he is. You congratulated me once on a mount. That is the extent of our relationship. Raudroth, you are getting third place. Good job. Good job, Raudroth. Second place. It's true because I invited him to the guild last week. Okay, alright, Dragon. Second place. This is gonna go to Artisan Tone Diff. I think this is a badass looking set. This is a badass, big dick motherfucking looking set, man. I love this fucking set. I think this is just a really, really, really nice looking set. Everything about it fits together really well. It's got a unique theme. And I, that's one of the main things, man. It's like, I've been doing these transmog compositions for three fucking years. Whenever I see somebody who comes in here with something different, whenever I see somebody who comes in here with something different, that's fucking impressive. G invite him. All right, you know what? Let's G invite him. There it is. There it is. Welcome to the guild. And now, people can say it's favoritism even more. Yeah, now it's fucking rigged. Yeah, now it's fucking rigged, isn't it? Good job, Tone Deaf. You're gonna get second place. First place. First place. The Honorable Manos de Fuego. We're going to give the big old beefy boy. We're going to give him number one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and explain why I think this is number one, okay? Because this is the first time that I've seen someone use the corruption effects that they had from their gear. And they used it and integrated it into their transmog in a unique and interesting way that made the transmog better and not worse. This is exactly why he's getting first place. It's a unique, groundbreaking idea. And today, we just saw it for the first time. Good fucking job, Manos. I love it. Yeah, we gave, the, we gave Fatty a win. That's right. 